Hello my upgrading wave family I am Zoya in today's video we will discuss top 30 microsoft excel interview questions and answers for freshers So if you are a fresher then this video will be beneficial for you Before starting the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications Let's start the video Good morning sir I am Zoya Good morning Zoya please have a seat Thank you sir. Shall we start the interview? Yeah sure sir. Tell me about yourself. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. Sir, I am Zoya from Delhi and have completed bachelor's degree in business administration and still undertaking a course in computer programming. I have been through a 3 month internship as a front desk executive at XYZ company. I am very sociable and can adopt environment quickly. What is Microsoft Excel? Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that allows user to organize, analyze and manipulate data using rows and columns. What is a cell in Excel? A cell is the basic unit in Excel where data is entered. It is defined by a unique combination of a column letter and a row number. How do you freeze panes in Excel? To freeze panes, select the cell where you want to split the sheet. Go to the view tab and choose free panes. You can freeze rows, columns or both. Explain what a function in Excel is. A function in Excel is a predefined formula that performs specific calculations. Functions take inputs and return results. How do you create a chart in Excel? To create a chart, select the data you want to plot. Go to the insert tab and choose the desired chart type such as a bar chart, line chart or pie chart. What is the VLOOKUP function used for? The VLOOKUP function is used to search for a value in the first column of a range and retrieve a corresponding value from a specific column. How do you protect a worksheet in Excel? To protect a worksheet, go to the review tab, click on protect sheet and set a password. This prevents user from making changes to locked cell and other worksheet elements. Explain the difference between relative and absolute cell references. Relative cell references change when you copy a formula to another cell adjusting according to the new cell's position absolute cell references remain constant when copied How can you add a new row or column in Excel To add a new row right click on the row number and choose insert to add a new column right click on the column letter and choose insert What is conditional formatting in Excel Conditional formatting allows you to apply formatting to cells based on specific condition or rules. This helps highlight data that meets certain criteria. How do you remove duplicates in Excel? To remove duplicates, select the range of cells, go to the data tab, click on remove duplicates, choose the columns to check for duplicates and click okay. Explain the purpose of the concatenate function. The concatenate function is used to combine multiple text strings into one. This is the example. What is a pivot table in Excel? A pivot table is a data summarization tool that allows you to rearrange and analyze data from a larger data set. It helps in creating custom reports and insights. How can you create a drop-down list in Excel? To create a drop-down list, go to the data tab, select data validation, choose list as the validation criteria and enter the items you want in the drop-down list. Explain the difference between a workbook and a worksheet. A workbook is the entire Excel file containing one or more worksheets. A worksheet is an individual tab within the workbook where you can enter and manipulate data. How do you find and replace data in Excel? To find and replace data, press Ctrl plus F, enter the text you want to find and then click on the replace tab to enter the replacement text if desired. What is the purpose of the if function in Excel? The if function is used to perform conditional calculations. It evaluates a given condition and return one value if the condition is true and another value if it's false. How do you sort data in Excel? To sort data, select the range of cells you want to sort, go to the data tab, click on sort, choose the sorting criteria and click okay. Explain the concept of a cell reference in Excel. A cell reference is a way to refer to a cell or a range of cells in a formula. 
It helps Excel know which data to use in calculations. How can you protect an entire Excel workbook? To protect an entire workbook, go to the review tab, click on protect workbook and set a password. This prevents user from adding, moving or deleting sheets. What is the purpose of the count function in Excel? The count function is used to count the number of cells within a range that contains numbers. It doesn't count cells containing text or empty cells. How can you create a formula in Excel? To create a formula, click on the cell where you want the result, type equals to, followed by formula or function you want to use, and then press enter. Explain the HLOOKUP function in Excel. The HLOOKUP function is similar to VLOOKUP function, but searches for a value in the first row of range and retrieve a corresponding value from a specific row. How do you protect specific cells from editing in Excel? To protect specific cells, first unlock all cells by selecting all cells, right clicking, choosing format cells and unchecking the locked option. Then go to the review tab, click protect sheet and specify which cells to lock. What is the named range in Excel? A named range is a user defined name assigned to a cell or range of cells. It makes it easier to reference and use specific cells in formulas and functions. How can you convert text to lowercase or uppercase in Excel? To convert text to lowercase, use the lower function. To convert text to uppercase, use the upper function. What is the purpose of the average function in Excel? The average function calculates the average of a range of numbers. It adds up the number and divides by the count of values. How do you create a hyperlink in Excel? To create a hyperlink, select the cell where you want the hyperlink. Right click, choose hyperlink and enter the URL or select a file to link to. Explain the concept of relative and absolute references in Excel formulas. In a formula, a relative reference adjusts when copied to a new location, while an absolute reference remains constant. Mixed references allows a mix of relative and absolute parts. How can you transpose data in Excel? To transpose data, copy the range you want to transpose, right click on the destination cell, choose paste special and select the transpose option. Well done Zoya. Thank you sir. Wow, I got the job. I hope you like the video. Please keep practicing and do like, share and subscribe to the channel. Bye. See you in next video.